All right, here we are. We're back. Had to put the stream on 720p, even though I was streaming on 1440, which looked actually pretty decent, but um, that might be something we have to look at later. However, yes, we are now are using the, the Lodestar. We are at the Institute. I'm opened up probably, I'd say half of this map so far. This is the high range gearbox in the load star. Fully upgraded. Dang. I need to think about getting some fuel here soon. So let's head up here and see what's up. There might be a fuel station up here. That's something Saber likes to do. They like to hide away fuel stations, clear up in the corner. What's up, Billets? Welcome in. Is the Jeep DLC worth it? Um. Well, first, before I answer your question, um, what are some scouts that you like, and um, what are you hoping to get from the DLC? What's up, Vlad? Welcome in. Because I normally stream on Twitch. I normally only stream on Twitch. I only stream on YouTube whenever um, something major is happening. So, it just, it, it looks better. The stream looks better on Twitch for my setup. Potato Harvester. What? Okay, I guess that's, that's, that's okay. <laughs> But billets, um, I actually have reviewed those Jeep DLCs on my YouTube. So if you if you want to go check those out, I have reviewed all the 4x4 scouts. I am currently working on my 6x6 and 8x8 scout review. Um, that should be coming out here later this week. Okay, so you mainly to scout through seasons one through four, but you don't care for like for trailers. Okay, so you don't care if the if they can. I think it's worth it. What's up, General? Welcome in. I think it's worth it to be to be honest. I think it's worth it for the sole purpose of the Wrangler. I'm actually gonna go over here because I want to open up this map. This is gonna make me really like weird. But Vlad, I am mentioning you in my new review on my 6x6 and 8x8 scouts. Um, and then you'll probably get another mention whenever I do the engine, the engine video, engine damage tolerance video. Okay, so billets, I, th I think I think they're worth it. Um, I can actually, I'll go back to my garage real quick and um, I can kind of just show you a little bit. Oh, by the way, guys, I used the bore to pull this trailer. It's a slot right here. Pulled it all the way through. And man, like it's they made this map so much better to pull eight slots. Um, Could be a thing. So we, we've completed basically everything on this map um, to the point that I had to move on to a new map. Um, These these are sample field and rollout and all this stuff. These are just tasks you can do over and over again i chose to go to the institute and um instead of uh i think it's called harvest or heartlands so okay bill it's i'm gonna i'm gonna go, kind of show you a little bit of these these two scouts that in, in the jeep dlc so i did review these um like i said but anyways i i think i think they're good i think for the sole purpose of just having the jeep wrangler the Wrangler has this awesome suspension that's only exclusive to itself is the um, the crawler suspension. This thing um, is is amazing. It's it's really a unique suspension because it kind of keeps it glued, but allows the the Jeep to kind of um, crawl over different terrain and stay on a pretty good balance, honestly. 
But yeah, I think they're good. Now, on the other hand, the the Renegade is not too hot. Um, I actually have used the Renegade in my uh, other playthrough with max power. It's okay. It can't haul trailers. Um, it's it drinks a little bit more fuel. But honestly, man, and its tires are super small, as you can see, but I don't know. I, I, I made it work, but that was in Alaska. It wasn't in harder places. You went so hard on the new update that they banned you from the subreddit for a week. Oh my gosh. Vlad, you got to calm down, man. <laughs> you got to calm down. Wait, what? There's a Dawn 71 here. What? How is there a Dawn 71 here? Yes. Yep, it's the... So it is called the 4x4. What in the world? Okay, I'm going to leave him here for now. So there's a random Dawn 71 just sitting in there. Um, billets, I will, let me give you a link to that video real quick. Cause I'm the only one that can submit links right now. One second. If I can find it, there it is. Um, and I do Oops. All right. Let's see here. Open this up. Open this up. Got it. And what? I have to log in. One second. I have to log into the chat. <laughs> this is so weird. This is because I was on. Um, it's because I, I streamed on YouTube. So now I have to log back in the Twitch. One second. I'm going to send you this. All right. Finally. Find me later. There we go. All right, Billets, there's, um, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. What's up, Brian? Welcome in. You know, Vlad, I don't know. There, there were some guys who were in the stream the other day saying that you could actually alter the files yourself. Um, however... I don't, I don't like that. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea just to go doing that. I'm doing well, um, especially if you haven't altered files before. But they, they were saying it was really easy to do. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, radar trailer again. <clears throat> so welcome everybody in. Um, we are on the second map, the Institute. I'm not sure which map is in the order of which i don't know but i decided to come up here because this is where the step pike was so um i just thought i'd come up here and try this map and i'm actually liking it i think a little bit more than crossroads you altered the xp and money you don't know how to adjust the rules in the file vlad oh man i might have to i might have to talk to you about how to do that is altering xp and money um that's something I think I want to I want to alter XP. So that might be something I actually hit you up to uh, get your thoughts on that. Okay, so I need to find I need to find a fuel station. But good thing is I have a paystar over here with fuel, so I will just head to him. And he also has some other things I can use. But yeah, Brian, I am doing well. I, pr I probably already said that. Uh, 
Oh, you have to build it in the contracts. Oh, nice. Okay, no matter. Um, yeah, no matter. I have a fuel truck over there. I'm almost thinking that one of those contracts isn't open because I noticed this and I'll kind of show you guys. So I'm almost wondering if I should have went to Heartlands first because there's so many ta so many these all of these are basically for Heartlands except for I think hot potatoes I can get um this sample I think I get these from the institute. But yeah, all these are from are telling me to go to Heartlands. So, and I didn't go there. But high voltage um is on this map, so We'll see. Yeah, they are enjoyable for sure. I feel like they're just giving us trucks like left and right. Do you need off-road tires in Heartlands? Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I kind of, I think I remember you guys saying that, how it's a little bit harder. And a bridge maker. Oh, like a mod. Don't do that. Oh, goodness. So there's a dawn. It's going to be year three. They've already confirmed it. I think there's been YouTube videos out that they said that it's confirmed. Year three is going to be coming out. Okay, so it's a little bit muddy. I'll keep that. Uh, I'll keep that in mind whenever I go over there to bring some. Some heavy duty stuff. But yeah, I brought the Paystar with the with the extended tank over here. This is where the step pike was, so I'm just going to completely refill myself, repair myself as well. There we go. You know, I was wondering, is this little, this little, uh, field here, is this, do you actually farm this? Oh, never mind. It doesn't have the yellow circle. Okay, let's see where I'm going next. Unfinished bridge. Did I get that? I did. Okay, so how far do I need to go over here? Okay, so I need to actually go, I want to go up here. I'm going to try to go up and around. And then we'll come down here. Yeah, because I know there's some upgrades coming up, so. What's up, District? Welcome in. I've seen those pictures you up uploaded, District, of the, uh, the K700 with the double tires. That looks awesome, man. You're really surprised to scout the maps with the con? Oh, nice with the con. Actually, hold up. I need to put back on my chat here. Chat box on. And I'm going to do something real quick. I'm actually going to. Font settings. 30. Okay, cool. There we go. That should be better. Okay, fonts is should be chat should look good. Yeah, dude, it looks it looks crazy that uh 
that little tweak you did. You adjusted the snorkel too? Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to adjust this again. Actually. Oopsie. Chat box. No, way too big. What's up, Toller? Welcome in. Change these font settings a little bit. Go back down to like 28 here. Okay. <clears throat> That'll work. That'll work for now. Sorry, guys. I'm just messing with this stuff. Somebody on YouTube said that I should uh, reply and read out everything on as it's... Uh, as people ask, because they just want to follow along. So I actually want to make the text bigger so then they can see it on screen whenever I'm replying a little bit. The new update is awesome, Toller. I know I know that you were playing it the other day. I didn't get to see much of it. Um, so I'm just so immersed in my own thing, but. Yeah, um, it, it is. It definitely is a request I get. Definitely is a request I get. What? I didn't fuel up. Oh, man, I didn't even fuel up my own. I didn't even. F oh, my gosh. I didn't even fill up my own uh, tanks in my truck. That's not good. OK, whatever. I got to go back. Actually, hold up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move. Font settings. Text color. I wonder if you can do... Hmm, let's see if that works. I'm actually gonna put this up here. Put this like this. Sorry guys, I'm just adjusting some things. Background color. I actually want that background color on. Oops, text color. I want this white. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna. I'll get back here in a second. You're loving this update. Yeah, Rob. I do. I like that as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to leave it as is, I think. Yep, I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, cool. Let's get back in here. Sorry about the delay, everyone. I need to go back and get fill up on fuel. Because for some reason, I didn't actually fill up my, my spare tanks in this. I didn't do that, so...
So Vlad, you found a line called Settings Dictionary for New Game Plus screen. Hmm. So told her you're loving it. Nice, man. It's nice to have a few tasks that are repeatable. I did. I did notice that. <clears throat> I actually did those a couple times because I didn't know um, at first. So. No, this is not District's new radar um, trailer. I didn't I didn't see that, though. OK, let's uh, let's fill this up again. Refuel. Uh, see what I did? Oh, I see exactly what I did. Okay, now. That happens to me all the time. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Toller, you did you have played the other games before this. Yeah, the K the K seven hundred is nice. I wish it turned a little bit better, but oh my goodness, I'm sunk. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. It, do, it turns better now. Does it turn better now than better than uh, PTS? I just noticed it kind of it's tough turning. I mean, I think with the harvester, it turns the best because it doesn't like it's not dragging something behind it, like pulling it back. Oh, it couldn't turn really good mud rudder either. Oh, gassy. You're disappointed about the new K7M tractor, so huge, pointless, no suspension, travel, no ground clearance, snorkel. Yeah, I mean, I just think they made it as a tractor. They didn't make it as like it was something that was going to be, I don't know, like a multi-use type thing. Although the K7M, if you look at its off-road ability, it is crazy in mud. Um, I'm talking insane. I think it rivals with the double tires. It, it's it's starting to rival some performance of some larger trucks. Now, I mean, like, now we gotta we gotta like come to some sense here, though. You really won't be able to take that vehicle in a lot of places, though, right? Just because it's so dang wide. Turning radius of Pluto. What is this? This is definitely a task of some sort. I mean, I'm, I'm really liking this map. Makes it look like a beetle with the wide tires. Oh, that's funny. All right. I'm actually going to fire this trailer off here. Oh, nope. Whoopsie. But yeah, thank you everybody for stopping in. It's uh, it's good to see everyone. Let me know if that text on the screen is too big for everyone. So I don't want it to get in the way. Actually, I might put that the text a little bit smaller. I feel like it, the font is just too. 22 looks good. There we go. Okay. We got here. Brave is a virtue. There's another something up here. Looks like a task. Oh, wow. 
Oh no, we're not doing that. Oh. There's one of those rebuilding parts. Oh, I see. So they have, as of now, is 25, negative 25, was 37, negative 37. Turns like a madman. Dang, that's better than it was then. You know what? Let's go up this way. Yeah, no, you're you're absolutely right, Vlad. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, let's I wanna see this. Yo. That looks sweet. That looks awesome. Okay, I probably need to go down here and get priority mail. Oh look, there's a little back way I could sneak through. Let's do that. That's why I love the Lodestar, man. It just whips around trailers. Has no concern. Okay, I think I can go through this fence. Oh! I guess I can't. What about this fence? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I have an idea. Can I go through this one? Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Some weird statues. Courtyard. Oh shoot, you know what? Hold on a second here. I'm 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 so stupid. I'm so stupid. Wait, is this, is this it? Administration wing? Okay, cool. Yeah, the place, it's, it's like a maze. Oh yeah. I agree, Toller. Okay, that's that. Oh nice, there's a harvester. That'll be good for something. You've been loving the new step pike as well? It's your new favorite derp truck? Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm actually working on a a review for that. There's some things that I have noticed that I'm I'm kind of excited to talk about. Wait, where in the world? Can a dude get through? Oh, so something here's another thing I want to show. See like see these bushes? So something happens when you drive down the train tracks in crossroads multiple times, and if you're off to the right or left, it'll just plant hundreds of these on the path that you just took. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna show you the task or the contract. It was, um, I was actually driving from <clears throat> here and running things back and forth, and I was using the train tracks going either to the left or right of them. And what was happening is when I was coming back, the game was planting hundreds of those plants to the point where when you ran into it, it actually like uplifted your your truck. Like right now, um, it's like lifting me up. Imagine hundreds of those. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea. Okay, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Get out of here. I should do a snow runner full walkthrough. Gosh, Bill, it's your, that's a lot, man. How do I get through here? Oh, I go around. What a dummy, huh? Basically, it does look, look like a zit. The earth is healing. <laughs> I don't know, I think is like the devs trolling us now. Oh, there's a nice little entrance. Uh, is this actually a found trailer? I think it is. Nope. Mission trailer.
All right, cool. Let's go out. Cross this little river. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go cross this river and then head up this way, I think. Like up in here. And then pop the radar trailer. Oh, you cross country a lot? It, it does make... Uh, I appreciate that billet set. I mean, it would be interesting. The only thing is that that's so much time. Like a, a complete walkthrough. Man, that is so much time. I would have to... Uh, man, I don't even know. That would be hundreds of hours to do that. This is a good map. These are good maps to do like, cro uh, what's it called? Um, like cross country and shortcuts and stuff like that. But as you can see, like they, they make it. So whenever you take a shortcut, um, I don't want to say you pay for it, but you, uh, you have to be concerned with balance for sure. Okay. I'm actually going to pop this radar trailer right here. Nathan quit my job. <clears throat> No, no, I never even see you stream. Honestly, I think if I did a walkthrough like that, it would have to be a like in a stream setting where it's it's recorded and then uploaded later. Lost mailman. I'm about to go get that. So there's the heartlands. That's good to know. Then I'm about to go down there, and then we'll start. Breaking out the work trucks, pulling over some vehicles, etc. I mean, that's that's kind of what I think a full walkthrough is. It's like getting everything. That would be. I would have to stream eight hours a day, five days a week. Um, start a completely new playthrough. I mean, it's it's doable. Considering. I don't know, I mean, like the the, the older regions like. Alaska, Michigan, Tamir, I can probably knock those out pretty fast nowadays. Just because I know them so well. OK, he's down there. Yeah, district. I wish I could quit my job, man. Somebody send me a million dollars and then I can do that. If I had the... Financially, if I could, I would. Gosh, this thing is a monster with the high range gearbox. I would pro if I if, if I were to do that, I would have to get a better computer to stream at high definition as well. Like, I don't know, at least 1080. Deliver to the oh, you know what? I might be able to do this. Yeah, you know, what? we're gonna do this. Find someone to pay my bills. Yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. I need someone to pay my bills. Being an adult sucks. <laughs> I'm sure everybody here knows about that. Multi or does it have to be solo as well? Um, I think it would probably have to be solo to be a complete walkthrough. Cause I think if you do multi, it's going to be all these different voices talking and stuff. But one second, guys, I have a phone call. I will be right back and then we will continue. So give me one second.
All right, we are back. Let's see here. Okay. Where were we? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I feel like there's Dawn 71s everywhere. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go left. So I'm gonna do some exploring over here while I do this. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> Great. Calling to me. Oh. Man, I already reviewed the uh, the Dawn seventy one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on a second, I need to adjust this thing here. This chat box needs to come. Settings, 20, 20 is fine. Okay, cool. All right, keep adjusting this crap. There we go. Oh, so you're trying to fix it? I forget what someone said in the chat, Vlad. He said something, it was he said it was a very, very simple fix that he did, and I forget what it was. It was when I was streaming on YouTube the other day. Make a map or the only thing you can get is a Dawn 71. Goodness. Okay, wait, I'll go to this junction and then I'll do it. What truck do you own in real life? In real life? <laughs> oh, I don't own any in real life. I own a, uh, a Volkswagen GLI. <laughs> That's it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not rich. I don't have enough money to buy a nice truck. Okay, I think that's good enough. Swamp Racer. Great. So many contests on this map, man. Yep, it's a GLI. Six speed. Yep, six speed GLI 2017. It's pretty fast for what it is. Oh man, it deleted it. Better than a Prius. <laughs> oh. All right, so let me see if I can do my little trick here. Steal some of this. He don't that. He doesn't even have any fuel in him at all. Whatever. I'll leave him with a gallon. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
this, man? What am I in right now? You got a 20 STI? Six speed? STI, that's a, uh... What is that? Is that an Impreza? No. Am I right? No. I don't think I'm right. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, it's a Subaru. Nice. I heard those are awesome. All-wheel drive, probably. You know, I kind of wanted a, Darby, a WRX. I'm not even sure what STI and WRX are. Or, I mean, like, the difference between the two. Okay, I know for a fact there's a... Um... Man, that all-wheel drive would be so nice in the snow. No, I know, I know, I know. There's a, a upgrade down here somewhere. Oh, I can. You know what? That, that stupid contract. Oh, that contract keeps coming off. It's lost tech. Yeah, I need to go. I'll get that when I come back. The Burex STI is more sporty. Oh, gotcha. Okay. What's your gas mileage like? I know it's probably... I think probably drinks fuel. I heard WRXs uh, get like 18 miles per gallon or something like that. Great. Yep, it's very bad. Oh, gosh. Am I actually stuck? Yo, I'm, I think I'm actually stuck, stuck, like... What in the world, man? Give me a break. Okay, we're just gonna go traverse around this crap. I'm not messing around. There's no way I can I can run run with that. What's up, Marvin? Welcome in, man. It feels like it, right? District? Goodness. Yikes. Just gonna chill here, pop this trailer. See if there's anything back there. If not, I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> Come back with a bigger gun. Yeah, of course. I knew. I knew it. Okay. Yeah, that checks. I knew it was back there. I probably shouldn't have went through there. It's an off-brand of Tamir. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. Ooh. Okay, I need to go up this way. And head around the trees. Not that. <laughs> like it just like flung me in there.
<laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh man. Oh, this is gonna this is this is the, the issue. Alright. Gosh, if this was a uh, 25 push-ups per flip stream, we'd already be doing 25 right now. Get up here, little jerk. Nice tactical roll, yeah, right? Oh, your phone's gonna die? Okay. I'm going to adjust this again. Settings. 18. There we go. Refuel. Shoot. What? Oh. Stumpy. Definitely um making it a little bit challenging out here. Watch, there's probably a way easier route getting to this than I took. Guarantee it, because I see a road behind me. This is probably one of the tractor engines it is. See, this is this is the thing. And this is what Vlad was talking about. This engine, This you find, okay, so the name of this engine. You find this engine in Tamir. However, this is the engine for the new Kirovets, which is, this is not the same torque rating. So I don't know why this is even in the game or has the same name because it's not that engine. So I don't know. Let's see where this road goes. I think we're pretty much done scouting on this map. What? You go through that stuff? Okay, so I'm gonna go around all this stuff, dude. Going around. Yeah, see what I told you? How they make you pay whenever you take shortcuts? Yo, watch the language. This is a uh, family friendly stream, Marvin. So you don't like the K700, huh? Can you use chain tires and mud too? Yep, you can. You can. Absolutely. Q 
Yep, you can use... I don't know if they'll work as good, but you can use them. Let's do this. Okay, there's where the trail starts again. There was no way I was getting through that. No way. Lodestar is a beast, but it doesn't have the tires for that. Slogging through this, too. You were digging through the files. Oops. Gosh, I need to like figure this out. There we go. That's so much better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I know I'm messing around with the, the chat box a lot. But I think I'm good now. So District, since you've been uh, editing the files, have you been enjoying the game more? Ooh. A feeling, oh, this, there's a stump there. We're good to go. We are good to go. That's good, man. I remember it was, it seemed rough there. <clears throat> Do I like this scout over the F750? Um, I would say I like them equal. The F750, I think if you didn't have to use a radar trailer in any of the, the map you were scouting, I think the F750 would probably, uh, probably be my go-to. Um, I think whenever I'm using the radar trailer, I think this, this truck pulls pretty darn hard. Um... There's just there's there's different benefits of each truck. But I think these the F750 and the and the Lodestar are really really nice. Okay, that's it. That is it. Oh gosh, let me go on. Let me get this. What is the weak link? What is the weak link? Welcome in uh Cobra Cola. Welcome in. Okay. All right, so wheat. So that this is practically opened completely up. So we're going to um continue now let's see what we got log bridge medium logs 
to that bridge. Okay, that's not too bad. <clears throat> Considering the logging camp is right there, priority mail, oversized cargo, that's there. Not too bad. Oh, you have a nice modded F750 with the built-in radar. Nice. Okay, let's see. Wooden planks. That's standard. Harvester. Got it. Got it. Deliver the harvester there. I don't think we're doing much farming other than this looks like a little farming place right there. Okay. Unfinished bridge. Cool. So it's basically all... Okay. So what I want to do is I want to bring a couple trucks up here. So... That being said, I need to go back to Crossroads. And I need to bring, I'm not, I don't know if I'm bringing the Kiravets up. I think I might just bring another, another support truck. I need a support truck and I also need, um, this looks like a good one. You like watching us, guys with patience? <sighs> Alright, so. Wait for him, because I want to grab the Forester. You know what? Cover. Ooh, I'm trying to think here. Okay. Gonna bring the Forester. Because I need logs up there. And I'm gonna bring this truck. And then I'll use the step as a low saddle platform, which I'd like to try out a little bit more. I need to turn my volume down. <laughs> so how's everyone liking the uh, the new maps? Do I have designated trucks? Um, Marvin, I kind of... I would say I know the trucks that work really well for, for certain roles. I've been trying to use different ones and kind of like switch them up. Um, but for this, for the, the Tatra, just because I, I like low saddle a lot and this thing can't low saddle. I like this fuel tank on it right now for like a support vehicle. For logs, I would say, um, I don't know, I can do different, different things. I haven't used a Forester since season six on logs because we didn't have logs in season seven and on my hardcore mode um, I'm only on season three so that's kind of why I'm I'm using this guy right now where am I going here oh my goodness what the heck am I doing what am I doing? I forgot I was that close. Oh my goodness. I forgot I was that close. Turn around.
but yeah, Marvin, um, for this map, I'm, I'm really trying to use more of the American trucks than I have before. I think it's a good, uh, it definitely is a good map to use the American trucks. They, they do really good here. So base, I think for this for this map, I'm going to try and use like the NA trucks more, and then mostly all the uh, RU trucks will be like support roles. So like for instance, I have the uh, the 605R with a fuel tanker. He's just a fuel tanker out down in the corner of this map here. Oh, you love the maps, by the way? Nice, man. So wait, the Zill 131, is that kind of the... What's the Zill 131? Is that basically the the Pike? Or is it the 130? I forget. I forget. I, I looked it up the other day. I don't have my notes in front of me. But I have been using modded trailers. That's something I have started to use. Yeah, the Pike is a Zill 133. Okay. I want to look. Actually, I want to look at my notes. I think I think that's I think that's what I have here. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. So yes, it is it is the the 133. I think it was originally the 130 and then the 133 was like the the uh the successor, I think, right? Yeah, it is longer than the 131. Is the the 131 is the is the 310 Echo, right? If that serves, I think I think so. It's been a while since I've actually looked at which one is which. Oh, it's the same. Okay, so 133, just a new model. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. You know what I wonder? I wonder if they're, they made these maps in a way where you essentially could start over where they were easy enough to um, actually start anew, you know what I'm saying? Especially in Crossroads. Crossroads is such a, like a friendly map to be on and just to get a bunch of money and experience. The 310 is one of your favorites to use? Me too, man. It is, it is small, but it's nice. There's things I like about the 310 that uh, I think the 310 is a little bit better at than the Pike, but overall the Pike is uh, is set up to just perform better. But yeah, I'll talk about those things at a later date. Turn off 
engine. Let's go through the gateway. I want to find this tractor. It's probably in the heartlands, honestly, in the, the swamp, I'm guessing. If I could just do a rough guess, it's probably what it, where it's at. Okay. Well, I'm going to go grab some logs real quick. What am I looking for? What do you mean? Good news, you fixed your hard mode again. Bad news, region locked upgrades. Oh, I heard about that. They're still unlocked for me. Waiting for the fix now. Well, at least you got the uh, the hard mode fixed. Okay, so left, left. So we'll go, go over here, load this thing up with some logs. I'll come back to the step pike and then go grab that trailer and start doing some things with it. These maps are for kids. Wait, Marvin, hold on a second here. Did you use mods in a more? I was saying something on the swamps. Really? I was? I don't remember. Am I supposed to turn here? I am. I feel like I really like the Forester, but gosh, man, is it slow. Especially, like, you didn't on your first playthrough. All right, then. I was going to say, if you use mods. Kind of like skew gameplay with mods. However, I am using trailer mods, so. What's up, Angel Manic? Welcome in. Oh gosh, it's just unbearably slow. You know, sometimes it can't even stay in its in its high gear in its maximum gear, so you gotta like either shift it into high. Okay, I'm leaving this here for now. I'm going to get the pike. Okay, now with for the pike, I'm gonna go grab this trailer that's in that's over here. I believe the front end is there, so I'll go here, here, here. Cross there, there, grab this thing, and then, yeah, I'll visit that institute or whatever. So I probably could have gotten away with using the high range gearbox in this thing, um, just because it's always on, always, all wheel drive and diff lock, so that is an option. Denison, welcome in, man. Thanks, appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's good to good to be streaming. So quick guide to fix hard mode. You need to be sure to follow the parameters are set is hard mode true. Okay, so then there's that is map or true game difficulty one. Yeah, I don't know. Vlad, I don't even want to mess with it, man. I am I haven't even opened up my my hard mode file. I haven't even like logged into that file yet. I'm just I'm I don't know, I'm kind of just waiting for the developers to fix it, but for people that are waiting to play hard mode right now, I I feel real bad for them. Especially like they were waiting to play hard mode on this map. 
and now they can't. So it's just unfortunate, I feel, for them. Just for the sake of it, if someone needs that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really good information, though, man. Appreciate you sharing that. Shoot. Oh, there's a... Oh, I see. Okay. This is good to know. Some logs here. The pike is good. I think the pike is good. It feels... It feels like the 6455B scaled down. Um... Except I don't think it has as good as balance. And I also... Of course it doesn't have as much power. It doesn't have as much power balance grip. Um... There's some thing there's definitely some things that I don't like about it. I'm not gonna really go into all those. I'm gonna I have to make a review on them. What's up, Maverick? Welcome in. Oh, oops, what am I doing? I think that's how you pronounce your name, Maverick. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher it if I try. I'm going to. I'm going to back up. I guess I'll back up and try this. I would have just used the modded trailer, but since I knew this one was here, I might as well just grab it and use it. Okay. Can I grab this? What? What? Seriously? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, so now it lets me grab it. Next step. You want to start a new game plus, set some rules, and then copy the whole settings dictionary for NPG screen. Put into your hard mode drive. You want to continue your hard mode with new rules. Oh, that would be kind of cool. It's fairly low to the ground and stuff, but it gets around fine with these maps. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's ground clearance is probably not the best, but... Um, There, there are some things that make its ground clearance okay in some areas, but I know what you mean, Toller. Gosh, this crane sucks, man. I'm like lifting up too. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. gotta be kidding me <laughs> oh that went well oh that went well okay actually you know what it's a good this is a good opportunity to take my my fuel truck over somewhere right bath time <laughs> It should have had its own tires instead of generic muds. Well, the generic muds are pretty good. Especially getting the MH the MHS2 instead of the MHS1. So of that I can't complain. Yeah, yeah, Vlad. That that that's kind of how it feels. 
And then the, the Russian crane is just so... It's so weak that... You, you just can't, like... You can't lift everything up. Like, what I was going to do is just lift its legs. Or lift it up to the deck where its legs were over. And then just pull it. Attach it to my truck and pull it, but... I just got a little bit impatient. <laughs> and just tried to... Wing it. This is good though, because I, need, I needed to bring a, a support truck over this way. So. Actually worked out. That's two flips tonight, by the way. I'm going to do a stream where I do push-ups per flip sometime, I think. What is the truck I'm driving? This is the Tatra Phoenix. This truck was, came out in phase, I believe it was, five, season five, this, this came out, the Tatra. What, what am I doing? Okay, wait, that's right, I haven't got to the junction yet. Yeah, so that's the thing, Vlad, is like, so... Even the small, the, the small U.S. cranes, whenever you open them, they're faster. Like, they open up really fast. But then after they deploy, they're slower than the, the, the uh, Russian cranes. So the Russian small cranes will deploy slowly, but their traverse speed is faster. It's, it's really weird. Best Hatcher truck in the game, fight me. <laughs> five is the limit. Five? What? Five is the limit? The A13 is, I mean, I think the tire size of the other Tatras just, it just helps. Oh, absolutely, Vlad. There's going to come a point where my channel becomes uh, strictly like a, a Christian uh, podcast at some point. Whenever all this gaming stops, that's what my, my channel is going to become. See how it deploys really slow? Now watch. Traverse speed fast. That's something I noticed. Okay, come on. Come on. Boom. Okay, let's see what we gotta do here. We're gonna do some missions. Appreciate the GGs. All right, let's check out some tasks. First, I need to get this institute, so that's what I'll do. I'll drive up here. View this institute because this is part of the that um, contract. Try to do two things at once here. Yeah, I know, right, district.
Well, that's just that's just who I am, Vlad. That's 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 who I am. It's ingrained in every part of me, so. Ooh. Okay, that is done. Now, let's go see what we can pick up. I believe there's some wooden planks here. What mission is that? Not log bridge. That's for medium logs. I'll do that later. Not oversized cargo. That's over there. I'll make my way over there. All parts to me. Weak link. That's what it is. Okay, so wooden planks to the Institute. Boom, boom, down there. Cool. Appreciate that, Vlad. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not afraid to talk about my faith at all. I mean, I'm nothing without Christ. And I mean, absolutely nothing. There's nothing good about me except for who, who is within me, which is, which is Christ Jesus. So, I mean, it's because it's because Christ that I'm, that I'm nice. That I'm, I try to be kind like he was. I try to be understanding, I try to be merciful because mercy triumphs over, over wrath triumphs over judgment. So who you are seeing now, if you see anything good, anything kind, anything that you, it's because of, of God, honestly. So that, that's who I am. It's, it's, it's enraptured in every, every part of who I am. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that, Vlad. I appreciate it. I had to catch up a chat. Made you have experience a bug. Uninstall bobbleheads. What in the world? What? Uh, there's bobbleheads? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, so I haven't seen this here. Geronimo. Okay, I'm gonna get caught. I know I'm gonna get caught on these. Nate just learned about the bobbleheads? No, dude, I never even... You get... It has to be some type of mod. You guys know I'm behind on the whole mod thing. Oh, the interior. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yes, yes. Oh, the, the dash, like the dash hounds and stuff like that. You know, I need to... I need to do a stream where I just do those... Uh, those missions or those trials. That is something I have not done. So something really cool about these step trucks, guys, I kind of want to actually show you this whenever I crawl out of this mud puddle. Some of the trials will induce rage. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen it. I, I've actually seen like Rusty play him and he was induced with some rage. Okay, so you know how like fuel tanks, this is this is a good point you'll see me talk about here on uh, on my review of this truck, but something I noticed about the step trucks is um their fuel tanks are very well tucked up, like right next to the frame. Usually when you see trucks, like their, their fuel boxes come down, right? So like you can get snagged on those easy, especially like American trucks, but you don't really see it as much on the RU trucks, but mostly American trucks, right? But even so, 
Um, even this thing doesn't have that great of, of ground clearance. It's a smaller truck. However, like going over humps and stuff like that, even though its wheelbase is, I wouldn't say it's long at all, but you know, this is, this is huge. Having this tucked up like that, almost flush with your, your frame. Kind of some nerd stuff there. Guys probably didn't even want to hear that, but I thought it was a, a pretty cool thing that all the step trucks kind of share. Grab that. What are these metal beams for? Oversized cargo. Where's that at? Not there. Catch up on chat. I don't have Dogo installed. I don't even know. I don't have anything. Honestly, man, I don't even do anything with my interiors. I don't. I, I so it's weird. Some mods overwrite DLC paint jobs. Oh. Trail based hood ornaments. Oh, that's cool. Hold on a second. I want to see where these metal beams are going. So this is. I could actually pick these up. Concrete blocks. Okay, I can always come back for those. We'll just continue. I'll come back for those. I'm I'm kind of like thinking I have the uh, the six slot. Dang, okay, now it's starting to get a little bit hard. <laughs> I know, right? This trailer is wrecked. You can just see, it's just all messed up. I must install Go Dogo. Is that, oh, that's a, probably a mod, huh? I need, ah, uh, man. I kind of wish I had my, my modded six slot trailer right now. Because I would grab those metal beams and just do multiple things. I think the default is Dash Hound. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you see me sinking? I feel like I can get out of here. Oh, the dog you have that sits next to you in the car? Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's like a mod or something like that, right? I think I, I know what you're talking about. I've seen that. Okay. I'm up to speed here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I don't know if I can even get over that. I'm not even going to try. I will, f I will fall off. That'll be tip number three. Oh, it looks like a German Shepherd. That's cool. I used to have a German Shepherd. I used to have... Yeah, you used to have a German Shepherd. I think the one time I told stories about my crazy German Shepherd dog. Ah, oh, come on. Institute Warehouse. Down there. Log Bridge. Okay, I can bring the... The logs back after this straight down the road metal beams
So what is uh what is everyone's favorite map so far on this uh this region here, the glades? How far have you guys made it? I know last time I was on stream, people were saying that they were in like the third map and stuff like that. And what map did you move to after the first? This is something I really want to know. Because I moved on to the Institute, as you know. But I'm pretty sure people just moved on to uh, Heartlands. Is that what it is? Heartland? Okay, you're buying the Jeep DLC. Nice, Billets. Good stuff, man. I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoy the scouts as as general, you, you would, you'll like it. You move to the Heartlands because it has a garage. Yeah, Vlad, that's something I was actually debating. I was like, man, having a garage sounds nice right now. You like them all? Nice. Oh, you're still on the first map? Okay. Oh, you didn't go to the Glades yet? You're still in Black River? Hey, yeah, that's that's a good map though too. Black River is solid. Great work. Next time we'll just contact you directly instead of relying on what we have on hand. Nice. Alright, cool. Thank you. Actually, I, I don't want to do this. I want to go grab the Forester and do the Log Bridge. And we're going to do this here, 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 here. Okay, just like that. Oh, you were, you didn't know you can go to the, the Institute? You haven't even stepped foot in this region yet? You're bouncing between Alaska, Cola, and Tamir. Oh my goodness, you're doing like multiple maps. Sorry, oh gosh, I just ran into that. Depends on what you consider by moved. I think you can only move to a map that has a garage. It can be used as a new base. I guess that's true. Other maps, yeah, technically, other maps you just visit. I think when I said moved, I basically, it's like I take my operation and I just like take my support trucks and my operation and I just move it there. You know what I'm saying? I think that's basically what I meant. But yeah, if you have a garage, you technically moved there. Okay, so you're trying to get upgrades. You already have and get some new trucks on your way. Oh, nice, okay. Yours is Tamir, Marvin, your favorite map, nice. Man, I don't know. I'm actually really liking these, these new ones here. I really enjoyed Maine a lot, actually. I do really like the 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 first three maps: Alaska, Michigan, Tamir. Toler likes Cola, Yukon. Dawn are your choices, okay. Michigan and Maine, general. Those are two solid ones. This new season is a breath of fresh air from the deep grind. Oh, it for sure is. Second map you visited was the Institute. You scouted pretty much all of them. Just the Dairy Longhorn 4520 with a single tank. Oh, wow. With a single tank. But then you moved to Heartlands because of the garage. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So, Vlad, you know what I was thinking? So, you know how... I'll actually just go to it. I'm going to kind of just show this. Um, so, when I did a moor, um, I did Erska River, and then I moved to Cosmo, and then I moved to Cherno. And then after I completed those three, I went all the way back to Erska and staged 
everything from Erska over to Northern Ages, right? Because it doesn't have a garage. So I thought about doing the same thing here, kind of like how you said you moved over to the Heartlands. You know what I'm saying? Like I almost thought I should go Crossroads, Heartlands, Harvest Corp. And then after I finished those three, basically stage out of either Crossroads or Harvest Corp, depending on where the garage placement is, like closer to the, the gateway. But I, I don't know. I just decided against it and just went ahead and did it. Yes, um, Angel. The 4520 is the uh, the shorter nose, Longhorn, yes. Oh yeah, I, I see what you mean, Toller, yeah. The, uh, the snow maps have a very, like, isolated, really nice uh, northern lights display too at night. What's my favorite heavy truck? Oh my goodness. Uh, my favorite. That's a tough question for me to answer. I feel like ever since I started reviewing trucks, I... Okay, nice. You must be some sort of bridge building messiah. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Glad I can help you. Um, I'm going to go up here and do this. My favorite heavy truck. I, I don't know about a favorite. Um, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have a, an absolute favorite. So I'm actually going to take the Forester up here. And, um, discover this little thing for this mission. And then I'll jump in the other truck. You like the 4520, but it's not as powerful as the other Longhorn. You wish it had a 12 cylinder. So Angel, if you go to Maine, um, there's a new engine for the, the Dairy Longhorn, actually. And I believe after that engine upgrade, I think its power becomes like the number two, or actually it's the number three or number four engine in the game. So I would go check that out. You almost bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla over over the lights. <laughs> yeah, the the Longhorn when it's uh when it's maxed out. Yes, in main. I I can show you the engine I'm talking about. It's actually found on this map here, Yellow Rock. I forget where it's found. I'm not sure if it's down here or not. I'd have to go on Map Runner to check it out. Um, but yeah, it's found on Yellow Rock National Forest in Maine. And this truck, so that gives you, I will actually show you the, the actual engine. You use the 4520 to haul that windmill blade. Nice, man. That's awesome, General, because usually like hauling a high saddle on the 4520 isn't, isn't a good idea. Yep, 230 torque, 3200. Yep, this is the engine you find. So you have a B plus with the GB2 2700 Tango, which is shared with like the BM17 and all those other trucks. And then, and so it was just power hungry. It just, it, it needed more power. And you know, they gave it a, a good bump in power for sure. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I feel like I, I'm gonna be complaining if I say this, but I, I thought they should have just gave it the uh, the Westline V12 or the V16 or whatever it is. But I think it was a good. It definitely was a good upgrade. Yep, yeah, that's right, 192 torque. Okay, let's go. Kind of the same thing with this truck. This has the uh, the 8V 2700 Tango engine in it, and I think it should have something a little bit more powerful. Did I watch Top Gun? No, I haven't. 
you know, I, I, I was trying to go see that in, in theaters, but I, I think I was just too busy with work and stuff like that. But I heard it was awesome. I'm going to have to see it. Definitely going to have to see it. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know why it keeps switching me back to this reduce reuse mission. I don't I don't want that. I don't want I don't want that. Just get away from me. Lost tech. Ah. That's a good point. Later gave the cat 15 or C C12. That would have been legit if they actually had something of that caliber. It would be nice if they just gave both of the dairies that engine. But then if so the thing is if they gave the other dairy longhorn that same engine Goodness, man, with with always on, all wheel drive and diff lock, be insane, right? One hundred ninety HP compared to the two twenty. Yep, consumption's a bit higher. Yeah, it is. That's, that's true. It is a little bit thirsty, and then the damage thresh threshold is lower. Yeah, so then it'll be the the engine will be considered damaged twenty percent. Uh, faster than the other engine yeah so basically that's the thing man is with with upgrades whenever you look at an upgrade in snowrunner you can't really say it's a straight up upgrade usually there's something you trade off it's usually like a trade you're trading in this instance you're trading power um for less durability and also less fuel consumption or um heavier fuel consumption i guess so in a, in a lot of ways, upgrades are like side grades. The Westline engines are supposed to be copyright in Detroit. Free Detroit, hence V12, V16. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have Lost Tech up there. Where's my step? I'm going to have to get him some gas pretty soon. I might need to bring another... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go get another fuel trailer or fuel. Um, I need some more support. So I need to have like at least three fuel trucks kind of like spread out. Usually what I like to do is put four kind of like in like if you split the, the map in, in quadrants. If you at least have one fuel truck in every quadrant, you're pretty good. What should be a fuel truck? You know what vehicle I ran around yesterday and it was this. Pulling a six slot. It was actually pretty good. I mean, the power... It did struggle with power, with heavy loads, but... Yeah, you can, you can farm all you want with this, yeah. Let's see, what am I going to bring here? Hmm. You know what? I will bring this. Actually, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this because I want to be able to hook up a trailer. And you can't do that. I wish this had the, the extended. Oh, that's a huge text message. Andrew, welcome in, man, and welcome to the, the channel. So you recently found my YouTube channel and 
and your thoughts on all these vehicles. It's been really helpful to get you to the better ones. Still fa fairly new to the game. Oh, nice. Should I focus? Yeah, I'm going to read this. I'll stop here for a second. Should you focus on one region at a time or should you reg or should you regularly move to other regions? You're at level 13 and almost 14. You're waiting to level up to level 30 as fast as possible. Any regions and vehicles should stick to f stick to it or for fast leveling. Um, so Andrew, I don't think that levels, um, I don't think that levels really matter. I wouldn't worry about getting to level 30 as fast as you can. Uh, what I would do personally, if I could go back and give myself any advice, I would say play the maps, um, from chronological order. And what I mean by that is, um, play Michigan all the way through hundred percent. Play Alaska all the way through, 100%. By playing those two maps, you'll get some pretty good trucks. And then once you hit Tamir, um, you're going to get some really good trucks then. Uh, you'll get some the Russian trucks here. And I think after you get get through all three of these opening regions, when you move on to Cola, you'll have a pretty good fleet to be able to tackle this. Um, and then I would just move through left left to right. Um, that, I think by doing that, you'll teach yourself, how do I say this? You, you gain a lot of experience on how to drive early in the game, especially like in Michigan and Alaska, when you're not having vehicles like the Tega and all these like really, really powerful vehicles that you just literally hold the gas trigger and it does everything for you. Um, I think some vehicles like, you know, the fleet star, the pay star, the Western stars, um, early game where you're kind of had those switchable features and stuff like that. It kind of teaches you how to play the game, I guess you would say. So if that helps, but I mean, to be quite honest, if you wanted to play it where you did skip over and grab things, Hey, I mean, there's no specific order that you have to play by. But I think for me, when I first started playing, I ruined the game by going and getting overpowered vehicles and then, um, you know, playing them in easier regions. I kind of, I basically ruined my experience until, and I think it kind of was a blessing in disguise whenever my, my gameplay got deleted and then I had to start over again. But I mean, even in, even in Alaska, I mean, you're getting... The BM-17, which still is a good truck. I used it all the way through. Um, you're getting trucks like the Dairy Longhorn there, which is still a really good truck as well. Um, you're getting the Cat, the, what's it called, the, seven, uh, the 745C, which is a, an awesome vehicle for rescues and stuff like that, just to be able to, to grab as a contingency. The Laz TA240, yeah, that's that's actually what's in the step. Yep, that's I'm going to mention that as well, Vlad, on that video. So the 2850TC, I think the 2850TC, is that, that's the cat, right? The CT681? Wait a second, you know what, I think it is the CT681. see no it's the western star yeah okay yep yep okay back to the game Oh man, 
Yeah, I love the cat, the little cat's engine. It's it's amazing, right, Vlad? I mean, that honestly, the the CT six eighty one is legitimately, I think, probably my top five. It might be in my top three favorite trucks. I mean, shoot, it actually might be in my top two. I was actually using that um, here the other day. Oh yeah, that's true, Angel. That is true. I, I mean, here, here's the thing. It's suspension is is like it's somewhat collapsed right so whenever you throw medium logs on it if the vehicle tends to tip off balance its suspension really doesn't save it much going over obstacles so if it's gonna go it's gonna go um but i mean balance wise even though it does have a stiff suspension it's pretty good Man, you can really tell the active suspension on this thing helps so much. I haven't busted my nose like one time. I was actually expecting to smash my nose already. You love this truck now, by the way? Yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this here for now. Jump back in the step. Suspension photos. I think the devs understand that trucks have airbags deflated. Yeah. You had to run back to Maine <laughs> and Tamir to get the Forester and the Dan. Yo, the Dan is insane. People sleep on the Dan. So the thing is, like, there's a lot of trucks from Tamir that get overlooked, right? Just because everybody wants the Tega. Everybody's all about the Tega. Okay, let's um, stop and grab a little bit of drink. Oops, nope. Refuel. Whatever, I'll just... Yeah. Honestly, I'm glad they didn't give the cats, the little cats engine, the, the CT681s to the HX, because then I think the HX would have just became this monster that it essentially would have made using the CT681 not even worth it. Even though I do think the 681 is awesome. I love it. You're more of a Voron fan. Fuel economy is sketchy. Yeah. All right, Vlad, man. Thank you for stopping in. 3.20 a.m. Gosh. Thanks for the luck, bud. I'll, I'll try to make you proud here. Okay, let's do oversized cargo. Priority mail, where's that coming back to? Oversized cargo, where the heck is that cargo at? So it's there, goes back to the warehouse. I guess I can do that. What about these middle beams? No. Oh, actually. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, 
I got an idea. I got an idea. I can do this. I can do this like in one swoop. I wish I had the six slot, but it's fine. So I'm going to pick up some materials here. Grab those metal beams on the way to the bridge. Drop both those off. Grab the that big um, oversized cargo, which is right near where that mission drop off is. And then bring that back here. Fuel up and then continue. So let's see. I'm just going to look at that task one more time. So it's concrete blocks. Yep. And good thing this is not hard mode. Basically got to load everything. That's what's been a breath of fresh air for me. Is not having to manually load every single piece of cargo I have. Okay, off to... It's odd because... Okay, so here's what I think is a little bit wrong with this. You see how much overhang is from that the back axle? I'm trying to see if that affects... Low saddle use. Because I know they stripped this thing of, of a sideboard bed recently. Which I don't think was a good idea. So you see how close that that frame is? So see how close this frame is to this? Um, you can see it's already down sloping, right? From where the, the frame comes up, it kind of like starts to down slope here and then down farther. And like some vehicles like the Step 310 Echo, its frame ends like right here. So it has better clearances when it goes over bumps. And then this, there's only this much space. So it's like, I want to see how much it lifts up its, its front wheels when it goes over bumps. So like vehicles like the, uh, oh, let's see, um, the Kodiak, the Fleet Star, they're just not good. For hauling saddle trailers. There's just some vehicles that are just not meant for it. Vehicles with long frames like that that come that jut clear past their last axle. Um, I don't think they're optimal. I mean you can get away with it, but I probably wouldn't. Okay, so I need to take out one of these blocks. Yeah, right? The the fleet star of the old days. So that's the thing, Denosine. I, I ruined my first play. Because so I went and got the uh, 64131 and bypassed the fleet star my first playthrough. Until my game was deleted after I finished the Yukon. And then I finally collected myself and got my senses right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, that's right. This crane is not strong enough. Oh, that's right. Oh, I maxed it out. You're purposely not using any DLC trucks when you play Michigan. Oh, nice. 
Angel, that's actually a good idea. You know, I actually talked about that the other day. There's so many DLC trucks. So like if you download like the Tatcher pack, you legitimately have access to the Tatcher T813 in Michigan or le even, you know, all those downloaded trucks. You have so many. It's like. It's just, I don't know. Definitely got some respect for you for not using them. I mean, that's how it was back in the day. Like, there was no DLC trucks. I mean, if you had the Navistar on the pre-order, then you had the Navistar, which was am amazing. Everybody knows that. Um, other than that, like, you had the the Con Marshall, which actually was a really, really strong truck. Pause this. I need to do something. Uh, let's go close window, close window, close window, close window. Okay, cool. You get the Tatra A13, the Bandit, yep, you get the Bandit HX, CT681, you drove them, tried them out, parked them in the garage, took a couple days ago and you finished Michigan, nice. It is a bit OP for Michigan, the T813. It's so overpowered. Yeah, then the con got nerfed. Yeah, that's right, it did. So till this day, you refused. Wait, is it? Hold on a second. Oh, so Denisine, that is that is a good point, actually. Um. So you play on Epic Games, right? Um, that is that is that's the thing. I I contacted. I actually switched my whole uh, playthrough from Epic Games to Steam just because of that sole fact right there. Um. Yeah, I they I contacted Steam or not Steam. I contacted uh, Epic Games. They said that. I had to contact a developer. I contacted the developer. They told me, um, contact, contact Epic Games. I contacted Epic Games again. They said, contact the developer. I went back to Saber. Saber straight up told me, they're like, we're not selling that on Epic Games again. Like the pre-order was it. So I found out you could buy it on, on Steam still. So I was like, you know what? I'm transferring all my saves. And I'm just going over to Steam. So that's where I went. And that's where I stayed. Oh yeah, 80 to 40 to 20 liters. Yeah. They did nerf the crap out of it. They take down mods that are made like it? What? Oh, you didn't buy SnowRunner until it came out on Steam? That's probably a smart thing. Okay, so now that is the first part. And I have the second part with me. Okay, so this kind of makes sense now. Sometimes I feel like when we build bridges, it doesn't make sense. Like, you have different parts other than cement and, <laughs> and beams but like this, this actually makes sense. And we have a bridge. We have a bridge. Let's -a go. Thank you kindly. Now we just have to take a detour to get across. Yep. Okay, now. Where in the world? Oh, the tech wing. Tech wing. Science wing. I went there already. Tech wing. Science. Okay, whatever.
Oh yeah, gravel sand, topsoil, that'd be cool. Honestly, like using those vocational uh, US trucks as they should be used, like dump trucks and stuff like that, that'd be really cool. Oh, shoot, you know what? Oh gosh. Oh dude, this is not gonna be fun. Actually, hold on. I might be able to do something here. Yep, like put a dump bump. Yeah, exactly. Like use a 770G. A little bit different. I sold you on the Pike. The Pike's a good truck, man. It, it's a good truck. It just, uh... It has... It has its own issues. Come on. I'm not going to be able to get this over. Maybe. Actually, I might... No, I'm not. I'm not sure how good the pike is with a low saddle, just because of the frame, but I think it's something to, to at least consider keeping an eye on. I think they should have gave it a... Yeah, the 1430 is a straight up dumper, yeah. It, it is. Okay, that is a mission trailer because it's like still like floating in the air. Oh, no, it's not. Didn't discover it, so. Oh my gosh, how do I get back there? This is, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Maneuvering this huge trailer. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Just no, 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 no. We're not. We're not doing this. This is where Saber gets you. This is the this is the catch right here. They want you to come back here and do this and get stuck and hate your life. Just not not happening. I mean, maybe I could have made it through here and gotten back, but. Answer his text message real quick. Oh lordy. I mean, I guess I might have been able to squeeze that that five slot through. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I wonder though. I kind of really wonder if it's going to allow me to glitch this through. Is it? Oh, it kind of did. I'm going to throw this over top the side here. Why didn't I just move it over? So I didn't want to bring that trailer through. 
because I think I would have gotten stuck actually here between these getting that trailer through that five slot and then either that or getting it stuck somewhere in here I just didn't want to take that chance but yeah I, I mean you, you probably could chance it and get through um, and finesse it but I just didn't I just know myself I know I wouldn't have been able to do that Move the cargo over the side. That's, yeah, Angel, actually, that's a good idea. I probably should have done that. I wasn't thinking. I was like, I just kind of was thinking about just getting back to my trailer. That is a good idea, though. Let's do it. The, the MH the MHS one are a Michigan or Dunlop super single front dirt tire for dump trucks, oil patch, and logging base semi tractors. I think I've seen those. Particularly for weight distribution. They're, they look really wide, right? Whenever they're on a truck. I think I've seen those. I'm gonna break out right through here. Out of my way. Yeah, they look super huge on the front. So, so here's the here's the thing. Okay, so like with that knowledge, why do American trucks not have an MHS one? You see what I'm saying? Like, if if, if there's like not a clear bias. That's like blaringly apparent. I don't know what is. Yeah, I've seen those down in uh, south of New Orleans, down there where they're they're building new like oil distribution centers. I worked there for like uh, like three months during like March till May, and I would see them driving, you know, south down there to that new oil distribution center, and they were just massive tires on the front. I was like, what in the world? Is it, is it skip a day? No, it's priority mail. Yep. Yep, that's where it goes. They like them on cement trucks too? Yep. Yeah. I mean, just give the American trucks an OHD. Just give them an OHD. An OH the OHD one is is pretty much I will take an OHD one over any mud tire. Or most, I would say most mud tires. I think you would I think people would, st I would definitely stop complaining if they just said, okay, all North American trucks have an OHD option now. I'd completely quit complaining because you would see the performance gap close. I mean, RU trucks are, are going to be better objectively. That's just how they're made, right? You're just, they're, we see videos of them, they're crazy. But, I mean... I'm pretty sure American trucks could put an OHD or whatever variant that is in real life. Pretty sure they can equip those. I'm not sure why they don't have them. I mean, they made this map really nice with like the detail of like everything blown out. I like how there's like this small river and on the west side of this map and you can like follow it on the roads it's kind of cool like really really scenic 
That's the thing, you don't need to make like all these mountains and stuff like that to have a good map. And this is definitely proving that. Oh, so the fun fact based upon games from Spin Tires? Oh, that's all right. Yes, in real life, wide tires on the front restrict maneuverability. Yeah, that makes sense. So trucks without all-wheel drive don't use wide ones. Ah, I see. I mean, most of those American trucks that go that that do that stuff, they're six by fours, or they're uh, yeah, they don't have all-wheel drive. I mean, there's there's a. I mean, some. You you have some, but like not all of them. I would like to see a Mac defense. That'd be sick. I mean, they keep showing Mac. I mean, they showed that simulator at that one event the other day with with uh, you know, Mac defense there or something like that. So it's like. It's like they're giving us these little breadcrumbs, but like they're not. Yeah, old office supplies, ruined old documents, stacks of empty boxes, nothing of note, really. Guess it's still better than a pile of rusting tin cans, if not by a lot. Okay, sweet. I mean, we're just crushing this right now. Experimental field. Uh, this is this is what I need for those potatoes. Deliver to experimental field. Okay, so I need a tractor. Okay, I need a tractor. But first, I want to go do this mission real quick. Lost tech. We did that. We did that. We did that already. Oh, I'd go there too. Yeah. Hatcher Phoenix. And then after I do this, we'll go grab the uh, the Kiravets. Actually, that's why I started this map. It was because I, I knew, I think I, I kind of figured that this one wasn't going to have a ton of missions on it. I, now it could turn around. It, things could start unlocking like crazy. Oh yeah, Andrew, for sure. There's um there's, there's a lot of highways on this. So you can see there's a huge this huge highway that runs basically like all the way up to the gateway. And then when you go back, Crossroads has kind of a similar thing. We have this huge highway that cuts right through and then it also comes down. But then in addition to that, this whole railroad that you see, this is all very easy travel comes north south goes east west so if you wanted to avoid these routes which you don't really need to because these are actually pretty easy routes they're just really dirt roads that are just bumpy right but yeah just you can get get places really easy single wide tires are really heavy and also the front axle is dead so why more weight in the front you can't turn near spaces you're blocked single wide so here marvin single wide tires on the back like ohds on vehicles that don't have all-wheel drive when you put heavy weight on ohds you generate more grip than you would from putting on uod's see what i'm saying oh so you're saying single wide oh, okay wait single wide tires i i get that yeah 
Yeah, I get that. Okay, I didn't see. Uh, sorry, I thought you said double wides. But I mean, like, sing the thing is, OHDs have their single in the front, so. And then they're double in the back. What's up, Runs the Poo? Welcome in. The plow you got to do the mission is going into the ground. Is this normal? No, that's not normal. That is a bug. Um, I've actually pulled those out. You have to like flip flip it over. Try to flip it over somehow, Rico. And then try to get it back to its wheels. And then you should be able to upright it. Another thing I was I was having happen to me is whenever I was hooking up the, the Kiravets to certain trailers, it was like flipping it up in the air. Oh yeah. Yep. Drummond Island gets pretty thick, so does Smithville. But Andrew, if you're if you're in the uh the White Western Star, um don't be afraid to switch over to low plus or low low plus and throw the diff lock in. It'll it'll plow through. Man, I feel like uh, I I feel like uh farming takes a long time in this game. The other day I was farming and I was just like, "Oh my goodness." It was just taking forever. Maybe I'm just not good at it. You, you used the Western Star through Alaska, no issues. Yeah, oh man, for sure. I grew. Oh shoot, that's right, this is out. Where did I get across? Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot. I should have known. I forgot all about this. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Really? Okay. It's like that. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I don't want to use him. <laughs> That's number three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you noob. All right. So I need to grab the cure vets. Why can't you engage the implement? What do you mean the implement? You know what I need to do? I'm going to have to actually hold up a second. I'm going to have to sell. I wish there was a trailer store right there. I need to sell some of these, these harvesters here that I can sell, but I'll do that later. I get OCD really bad. Ah, nope. This thing cruises. Like when it doesn't, when it's not hauling stuff, it just goes, man. Oh, yes. Angel, that is a bug. 
there's been a bug where everything is kind of unlocked right now. I mean, that's kind of nice, though. Oh my gosh, this thing is cruising. I'm not sure, Marvin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the Caravettes is in in real life. I mean, I mean, it is just a tractor. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to have crazy flexibility. I think they just pushed this update out too fast. And they should honestly, they should have just kept the PTS going. And ironed out some of these. I mean, there there had to be people that have said things like this already on the PTS. I mean, if not, then I guess it's just a, a phantom bug or some bugs that just happened with things they implemented. All upgrades unlocked? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hard mode save did get re reverted. That's gonna get fixed too. My all my hard mode saves got uh, got messed up. So we'll see. I know. I'm hoping they they fix it. Gosh, man, I just just want to finish that lost tech mission. It's like I feel like I've been trying to complete that that mission since I came through the gateway. I think it's pretty fast. Pretty darn fast. Maybe I'll just go over there with this. <laughs> Flip this guy over. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go flip him over. I'm gonna have to do it sometime. Might as well just do it now. No, what? But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching the stream. This is uh this is awesome. I think when I stream on YouTube, it's uh especially especially when uh, I'm playing hard mode, not hard mode, when I'm playing co-op, it's it's hard to pay attention to the chat and and I don't know. I guess it's just hard to pay attention to the chat in general whenever you're playing. You're kind of looking down, looking at the game, trying not to mess up. I don't know, honestly, I don't know how those streamers with like thousands of people watching them, I don't know how they do it. They just got better attention spans or something. They can do multiple things at once, but that's not me. YouTube doesn't notify you when, when I'm streaming? Really? 
I think if you, uh, Rob, you have to hit the bell. When you go to my channel, you hit the bell. So then you get a notification. Is SnowRunner my main game? Yeah, for now it is. Um, before I played SnowRunner, I, I used to play like World of Warcraft. Like PvP World of Warcraft. I used to play World of Warships. Before that, I played World of Tanks. Moved on from World of Tanks to World of Warships. Got into some like semi-competitive gameplay. There with like clan battles and stuff. And then I think after a while, I didn't like where the game was going with like submarines coming out. And I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to move on. And that's when like I saw this game being advertised. And I was like, man. Uh, Cal Godor. I'm not sure if I got your name right. If I didn't, um, forgive me. Thank you for that follow on Twitch. Welcome in. I think it's Kyodor, maybe, I don't know. Sorry, I, I ruin every name I pretty much pronounce. You finally finished plowing the field, nice. Have I ever played uh, Farm Sim 22? Um, no, I've watched people play it though. It looks really cool. Oh, thanks man. Well, welcome in, glad you stopped in. We are uh, up here on the second map on the new phase eight, which came out the other day. And I just flipped my Tatra, which I don't know how I really did that. She has good winch points. Nope, don't you? Okay. You're playing this map too? Oh, nice, so you, you did what I did. I moved on from this the first map to this map. Okay, so now I'm gonna go do this tech station real quick with this truck. Oh, you like to watch when you play? I do the same thing sometimes actually. So I thought I could not tip this over because this vehicle like it steers with all of its axles. So I thought I could like whip myself around there and regain my balance, but I, I wasn't fast enough. Doing the same thing right now. Nice. 75 push-ups. I know I'm going to have to do a stream where I put my camera on and do that. I did that the other day, actually. It was a while ago. I think it might have been like a month or two ago. Oh, yeah. It had been pretty funny. That's for sure. All right. It's this way, I think. Yes. I'm actually going to grab this trailer. Yeah, I'm going to grab this trailer. Because I want to get it close to that main road. So then I could take it and sell it whenever I clean up. Because like this is 14,000 bucks right here. It's a good chunk of change. So I'm sure you all know. Sell your trailers. Everything that's free, sell it. Get cash for it. Buy something nice. Ah, oh, that's right. That's that's right. Actually, this is a good thing because I have to farm up here and I feel like I always have to fuel my, my farming truck up. So this is actually a good thing that I have him up here.
It is, man. I'm telling you, I, you do, you know, you cultivate, you plant. And after that, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I might be able to do it all and then fuel up. But I mean, after that, you pretty much need to fuel up. Oh, Andrew, if I put the high range gearbox in this thing, man, it, it's 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 insane. Uh, this thing's a wild man. If you ever seen my video on this, it uh, it's very, very hard to control. Actually, I want to do this, turn into this, because I don't want to go that way. Okay. I'm actually going to keep this trailer with me. I'll just use this truck to pull it back. Oh, nice. Here's a uh, cultivator. It's part of a mission. Okay, cool. I got lost tech done. Now, we go grab our cure vets. Oh, what do I got to do here? Exhibit A. That's right. Grab the harvester. So here, where's the harvester at? Oh, all the way over there? Okay. Okay, this is sweet. New route. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know the way. Oh, this thing is wild. I feel like for having the advanced special, this thing actually turn really goes really fast. It's probably just because the wheels are so dang big. Man, this map has these awesome like trails that go right beside, um, like up here. Like this part of the map is awesome. Like right here, it goes like follows this little this little stream. Man, really really cool. Nerd. Gosh, look at this thing go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe I did not flip over there. Seriously. I cannot believe that. Cannot believe that I did not flip over there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I can't believe that. Insane. I will be right back, gentlemen. I'm going to pick up this phone call and then I'll be right back. We'll continue.
All right. Let's do this. Let's at least get this harvester. How much time I'm at? 247. I guess we can go to three hours. It's like they know you're going to tip over in that like little area. I just like almost flip flip this thing because they put those poles around, right? I started noticing that they put like these little poles around. So it's like they know it's like they're trying to get you there. Let's see if you're good. Let's see if you can catch yourself. That would have been number four. That would have been a hundred push-ups. Thank you. Appreciate that. The tractor's gas ran out. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. Actually, no, wait, hold on. Skirt. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that bridge either. I can sense the sarcasm there. Wouldn't that be cool if they actually like collapsed? Like there was a weight limit and they would collapse? I mean, it wouldn't be cool for me, but I mean like... It would be interesting. Gosh, man, like high gear right through this stuff. Like it's just ripping. <laughs> oh gosh, here's the maze again. Okay, that's going to be for something. I don't know what that's for. Has anyone used the claw? The, uh, the claw for picking up hay barrels on this thing yet? I wonder how they are with, with moving logs. That's interesting. Okay. You've tried it on hay? Okay. How was it? 
Good. Meh. Bad. Oh, gosh. I knew that was going to be rough. Oh, no. This is not going to be fun. Oh, my God. It works slower than a crane. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm free! Alright, let's see where I gotta go. Oh, that's right, I fixed that bridge. Oh, how about that? Oh, that's so nice. At least you can't damage trailers, that's true. Yeah, yes, that is true. What's up, Paystar? Oh, yeah. Could you imagine trying to pick that thing up and put it back on there? That'd be terrible. Okay, let's see if I can just bulldoze these things here. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> What's up, Winnie the Beast? No, I'm not on hardcore mode right now. This is just my regular playthrough. I paused my hardcore. I left off in, in Wisconsin on my hardcore 100% playthrough. So what I usually do is whenever the new content comes out, I'll play it on, uh, on normal. And then after I complete it on normal, I'll jump over and continue hardcore and then other playthroughs as well you would tune in to watch me do that oh man i just wonder when are we gonna see district stream I feel like this thing gets like very very light in the front end as soon as you put this on here but welcome in Winnie the Beast oh no 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 So this would be cool if I brought this over here and I just had to harvest. But I know for a fact I'm going to have, this is going to be like a, a multiple part where I have to go, wow. <laughs> where I have to cultivate. Yep. Potato harvester. Oh. Nice. So at least there's a planter here. I know the cultivator is like right here. So that's actually not far. 
to do this. At least I'm not like farming multiple spots on this map, so that's good. Even though I'm gonna have to farm here. This is this is definitely another one. Definitely another one. I'm gonna have to repair myself at some point, but anyways, y'all. This is the duration of my time, sadly. It's basically three hours. So um I appreciate everyone for coming out, hanging out, and watching me uh do a lot. We got a lot done. Basically open up this whole map, completed all the tasks that are so far. I think after you complete some other uh I think contracts, other tasks like open up and stuff like that. So we'll see what what happens, but Honestly, this has been a really, really cool map here. I think I like this one better than Crossroads right now, even though it doesn't have a garage. So anyways, it was great having y'all. Thank you for having me. Um, we will be back next time. I think we're going to try to do the realistic mode with max power. Um, maybe Wednesday night. I think so. We'll see. We'll see what his availability is and what my availability my availability is as well. So, anyways, till next time. God bless. Stay upright. We will talk to you later.